I am Tap Tap, and this is Poom. This is Doom remade in Pico 8, which is a, I think they call it a fantasy console. It's a programming language, kind of, and it emulates a, um, a 8-bit console with a limited set of colors, of memory, of, um, of uh, pixels on screen. Um, you only have so much storage space, so you can only do so much in it, and um, it lets you basically make something kind of like an NES game, but a lot more accessible to make. So a lot of people make really cool demakes in um, Pico 8, and I haven't made, um, I haven't done too many videos of it. I have played a couple, but I mean to play more. So, obviously, the interesting thing is not just a direct port. Um, obviously, there's some strong similarities between this and E1M1, right? This is a little bit... It's nice and crunchy, but it's a little bit loud. Here we go. I'll take that. That wasn't that was not there before. Um, <laughs> nice. Um, it even has secrets. It's it's Doom, and it's got its own little customizations. I'm sure it's got its own limitations beyond the original Doom. Um, so if you're having trouble imagining what this is, it's basically like Doom on NES, but not quite. Get all right. I gotta right click. Yeah. I'm using a mouse support. So this is free or pay what you want on itch.io. Um, great site, can't recommend it enough. Um, and that's where most Pico 8 stuff I find. They have Pico 8 has its own like forums and stuff. Before I get too ahead of myself, let me know in the comments your first experience with Doom. Either a, a Doom clone or the actual Doom or whatever. Did you play that, um, oh god, what's that called? Chex Quest? I never played Chex Quest. We might stream Chex Quest someday. I went and downloaded both Chex Quests and the um, the fan game, and uh, I want to check those out, but uh, not, not today. Today it's Pike White Day. Come on. It does take a little bit to load the levels. There we go. I like that crispy effect at the very beginning. So I think it's just a few levels. I think it's like one episode's worth, more or less. I like that they're original levels. There is definitely, you can definitely feel a little bit of vibe. Um, this actually feels a little bit like that. Oh, oh, hello. Um, like that one box filled level in um, episode two, I think it is. Get out of here, kid. I probably should have put it on higher difficulty, but um, I wasn't sure how hard it would, it would be. I guess I can change that. If it's too easy after this one, how do I, oh, right click, right click. It's nice how a few controls it has. So Pico 8, it works just like an NES in a lot of ways. Um, and it just has four directions and a button. Obviously, this does have mouse support. I am using mouse support. It's, um... That is a thing as well. I'm... Actually, I'm not entirely sure how Pico 8 limits everything. I've never made a game myself in it. Oh! Oh! Hey, buddy! Hey, fun. Um, but... Most games in Pico 8 are limited to, you know, arrow keys and... Oh! <laughs> you gotta have the traps. Sound is obviously very limited too. They got the music pretty dang good though. Now, if you know me, I love like weird Doom renditions. Uh, I have a stream. Uh, just check out, search for Tap Tap Hit Points. I have a stream, um, lovingly edited by uh, Sun Gaming. There was this amazing. Um, I, I got drunk and I played some Doom, and I was just listening to like 50 different versions of E1 M1 um, in different sound cards. It's incredible. <laughs> I, uh, the song's just so iconic, and just hearing it in like weird, kind of bad, and sometimes amazing um, sound fonts is really interesting to me. If I, 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 we need to just stream real Doom just sometime. I might have to get drunk for it. I mean, not, not have to, but it would enhance the experience, let's say. So this is a little bit easy. I feel like... I feel like the shotgun's a little weaker than it should be. I feel like the imps should die immediately, but... Balance adjustments. I feel like that would have killed an imp, especially on um, Pay Not Too Rough. Which. Usually go for. Um, what's the level down from Ultra Violence? The. the oh, we got. We, <laughs> we Half Life now. We got some uh, vent crawling. This works really well. So, like, the. You know what? I'm gonna be mean, and I'm gonna say this looks almost better. No, this does look better. Aesthetically speaking, this looks better than the SNES Doom. SNES Doom is incredible in theory, uh, but it looks and it sounds kind of like butts. It, it's... 
Oof, it's rough. This actually... I mean, obviously I'm being a little bit charitable because I like the aesthetic of it. But, dang. I feel like this is more impressive on a Pico 8 than a re real Doom was on... Um, did I get hit? Yeah, I did. On SNES. I found a good Pico 8. I, it was probably the person making this game, come to think of it. Uh, I shared this good demo of making a um, Doom-like 3D projection. Oh, we got—we missed one kill. I was always—I was always so bad at getting the secrets. I mean, that's why they have secrets. But I figured for a for a video of me just like derping around in a Doom clone, you probably don't want me humping every wall and going, "Uh, uh, oh, where is it?" You know, who played um, Duke Nukem before for Doom? I technically did that, but I played the DOS Duke Nukem. I played. I played the ones no one remembers, the, the platformers, with that awful CD speaker sound! Oh my god, if you've never heard a PC speaker, uh, look it up right now, it's a real experience, it's terrible. I I feel like some of my shots are just going straight through the imps. One, one of the reasons that Doom works so well, Doom does a lot of things that would be considered blasphemous in modern first-person shooters, right? Um, it has auto-aiming on the vertical axis, and... Um, you can't move around, and I actually kind of prefer it. It's the way it was meant to be played. NVIDIA, the way it's meant to be played. No, but- oh! There's a level of- <laughs> dip at the level. There's a level of Inferno with a bridge just like that. I like that they're original levels, I appreciate that. The- the hangar, obviously, was pretty heavily inspired by hangar, but definitely its own thing as well. Is that a switch? No. The texture really looks like a switch, and I keep seeing it. <laughs> In fact, the, the textures, the textures, some of them seem original. I mean, this floor texture, obviously, quite close to the original Doom texture. I like what they did a lot. It's not, it's obviously not just a case of just taking the Doom assets and just shoving them in a program to put them down to Pico 8 standards. Um, some love was put to this. I'm liking this. I like that the blood is pink. That's just kind of the red that you get Pico 8. It's an interesting palette. It's a palette that's not particularly Doom-like, so they've actually done... Uh, they've done a particularly good job with that, because this is... You know... Oh, there's a secret. There's a secret just like this in the Inferno level I was mentioning before. A secret has been revealed. Hell yeah! <laughs> you gotta love the sound effects. Obviously, it's very limited sound effect-wise, the Pike Away. It's got um, a little pushback on the machine gun, chain gun. Oh, now this is a classic part of the Doom experience that a lot of people don't remember from the original Doom. And the new, new Doom doesn't really do it, and it's kind of understandable. The getting lost and trying to backtrack for the right place for the key- Oh, the This is just like the second or third level of Doom. There's a part kind of like this. How do I, how do I change guns? How do I change guns? <laughs> Hang on. Sh shotgun chain. Oh! Well, that's interesting. You press escape? Okay, so there is more than two buttons. I, I thought it might- I thought it was something like that with, uh, Pico 8. I mean, that's a pretty extreme limitation to enforce on developers. But limitations do- do kind of breed creativity. There's a lot of really interesting stuff on Pico 8. The one thing I'm slightly skeptical about is the actual- the file size limitation. You are limited to a certain amount of ROM. Um in Pico 8. I'm not sure if you can get around that or how that works exactly, because I have to make one. But, I feel like that does, I mean, it can make you, you know, like I said, limitations can be good, but it seems pretty significant. Oh, that was a switch that time. No, oh, because there's certain games you just can't make if there's not enough space. There's that blue key. And no one talks about how getting Doom is about getting lost. I guess people just don't want to remember, or just want to pretend they knew where to go, but no, Doom is a game where you get lost. In fact, there's a great game on uh, Itch.io as well, called Doom Dream, that just emulates just the experience of getting lost in Doom, and just not knowing where, where the level goes, and it's just an infinitely procedurally generated thing that looks kind of like a Doom level, and it just has imp corpses all over the place, and it's voxel aesthetic, it looks really interesting. Um, and it's just, <laughs> it just has that vibe of like, ah. Oh, where is where is where was the thing? It was it was he somewhere. In fact, I played that in that same drunken Doom stream. I highly recommend that stream. It feels weird recommending my own stuff, but honestly, it was 
I had a I had a blast. We gotta I have we have to have more streams like that. Get get me drunk in more streams, chat. Or you know, commenters, whatever. I'm just gonna call you chat. It's it's easier this way. The shotgun does not feel quite as satisfying. I'm gonna change the difficulty up, by the way. I'm gonna raise the difficulty. That's I say as I'm like half dead. You know what? I'll, I'll just leave it. It's a demonstration. I'm not here to like brag and stuff. I just want to show you the levels. Oop. No way this was... Hang on. See, like I said, this is the dome experience, man. You get lost. You don't know where you're going. You're like, wait a minute, what's the point of... Oh, oh, there we go. I knew it. And the colors, oh my gosh. The, the fact that they made the lighting effects work with the limited colors, I want to say 16 colors? I, I don't know. You know what? Oh, there he is! There's the Kaku Demon, obviously. Um, I'm not sure how many colors Bike Away has. Uh, it's got... Look at that goo! I'm sorry. I'm just, I love cat Um... Let me look this up. Complete. Oh, two kills. We got one secret, though. Somebody get Jean Romero to play this. Hold on a sec. Uh, Panko... Okay. Color elements. 16 colors! Every pixel in Pico 8 stores a 4-bit value in memory. So only 16 colors. That is the palette. Okay. 16. Did I say four? Obviously it's not four colors. 16. The yeah, lighting effects with 16 colors and you can still tell what stuff is for the most part. That is, that's pretty impressive. The Defiled Realm. So how many levels? Oh! Is this, what is this? I don't remember. Is this Imp Song? I don't remember all the track names. Oh. See, I'm seeing some strong similarities to existing levels, but they are their own things as well. Oh. Nice. This is really, this, okay, gameplay wise, this feels just like Doom. This is exactly how Doom controls. It's, um,. The strafing is kind of an intermediary between running shift speed and like without shift speed. And I honestly think the speed is perfect. It feels really good. It does not, um, you could go faster in Doom, but it was kind of hard to control at max speed. I feel like this controls really well. By the way, Doom, in the original Doom, by the default mouse controls, moving the mouse forward made you walk forward. We had no idea what to do with, with with mouse and keyboard um, in terms of video games. It seems so natural once you played it right, but all of the all of the controls that you take for granted are um, years and years of tweaking and perfecting. And it's super easy to, um, to think it's obvious, but it really wasn't. Like with two controllers with two sticks seems obvious, one for camera, one for movement, right? Almost no games on um, PlayStation 1 did that. A lot of them on PS2 didn't even do it well. Like, there's a lot of jank in PS2 games, control-wise. It really took until PS3 for um, just basic third-person and first-person controls to work right on a controller. Oh. Also, this runs shockingly smooth. It does get a little crispy at times, but not too bad. What did that do? I like this, the satanic runes. It's not like twitchy dead bodies, but we did see some pre-dead imps. Oh, you got, man, the, the flashing lighting effects, that was so impressive in Doom. It looks so campy now, but honestly, that, that was incredible stuff. And it's really neat to see it emulated on Pico 8. Pico? Pico? I don't know. I don't say evasion, I say avoision. Ah, oh, you gotta have this upside down cross! Oh, oh, this, this, I should not be this close to this boy. Do I have 113 or I, I can't tell if I have five, 115 or 15. That's kind of the problem. I think I just have nine. I should, oh, 
Why is it? Oh, whatever. Oh, ooh, ooh, not, not that. Chain gun. Oh, wait, I'm using the player two control. This game's controls are slightly odd. Um, here we go. I see something in here with me. This is like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you could have possibly made this better on Pico 8. And obviously making things on Pico 8 is a little bit more forgiving than on an NES. This would be a lot more impressive on an NES. I don't think you can do this on this yet. Uh, huh? Who hit me? Oh! But there was uh, that was always kind of the classic joke, right? Uh, can it run Doom? Every- Doom? genuinely was slightly like crisis back in the day like not everything could run doom well i had to run doom super zoomed in um in order to just get it to run smoothly so weird to think of doom of all things not running well but yeah and you had to have i think you had to have four megabytes of of ram to run the damn thing or it might have just run slower if you only had two and yes back in them days back in them days you might only have two or four Megabytes of RAM. I actually did, against my parents' wishes, somewhat. I ow. I um. I did get Doom. I was provided it by my uncle, and I, I was super into it. You know what's dumb? I would cheat in Doom. I I, I refused to play it on anything but Ultra Violence because that was what badasses did. But I cheated. I I cheated, so it didn't matter that I played on Ultra Violence. But I had to play it on the harder level. And that's so dumb because I could have probably done fine if I did if I didn't cheat, but I played on um, you know hurt me plenty or whatever. But yeah, dumb kids. See again, this is this is the part of Doom experience nobody talks about when you get lost. Doom. I finally did play Doom 2016 um, last year, a couple of years ago at this point. I did enjoy it. I didn't stream it. But, um, good game. I, I don't think I need to be here. Aw, oh, I'm a dum-dum. This, this switch lowers this thing. Oh. It, it would have been more clear with an audio cue, but I think that's just Pico 8 limitations. This is only so many sound channels you get. Okay, so that's what that does. That, that's some pretty classic Doom Derp. That, 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 that wasn't really, like... It was in the... Huh? It was in the same area, so that was more my fault than just like, what the heck level design kind of thing. That was mostly me. Gotta be real careful. The red door was this way. Let's see that. I'll, I'll accept that as my bad. Also, I'm not sure how to feel about the chain gun slowing me down because I don't think that's really a thing. Ooh. Oh yeah. Trap? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's much slower. I mean, this thing's pretty overpowered though, but... I think it just does more damage to compensate for not firing enough. I mean, there are sprite limits in everything in, um... In Pico 8. Someone's gonna be super pissed at me and tell me it's Pico. Is it Pico? Let me know. Let me know at this web zone. It's Pico. That's too late now. It's too late now, I've already done the video and it's already Pico. Alright, see now. Now be grooving. That's not a switch. I guess. So where's the BFG? Oh. Oh, that was a switch. Okay. What? We're in pretty good shape here. After my little derp in the lava pit. There's a lot of backtracking in Doom. Ooh! Oh! Oh, you! How dare you! Oh, how dare you. Oh, that was... Why am I getting close? What's wrong with me? Is it... I don't think I'm... Oh, no, I wasn't again. Okay. Nice! Alright. I want to say there's just one more level. I'm debating splitting this video into two or not. If it's just one last level, I think I'll keep it all as one. It's not that long. It's like one uh, episode, really. Yes. 
Entering halls of eternal pain. Okay, let me... Oh, but I won't want to give up my things. I'll just see how long the freaking game is, and if this video is split in two, you'll know it because this will be part two probably by now. I just, I don't want to give, I just don't want to stop playing right now. Because then uh, it'll probably be like a pistol start and stuff, and that sucks. Uh, yeah, give me the plasma. Give, give me the plasma. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it makes a valiant attempt in making the sound, kind of, I guess. I like this movement speed. It's just fast enough to dodge stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh that's adorable. He tried. <laughs> They're like four chainers reeing at you. Free females, my bitch. Oh, yeah. Sucks we don't have the in, the um, intermission from Doom track between the things, but that might be too much, too fast or something. But I guess if they got, I mean, if they got E1M1, they should be able to do most stuff. Trap? Oh, this thing is just as overpowered as I remember it. The BFG can do more damage in the right situation, but really, you can't go wrong with the plasma gun. It is a complete all-arounder, and unless you absolutely need the area of effect of the BFG, and you know how to use it properly, um, it's pretty much always the best choice. It just feels more satisfying to use the BFG. But really, the plasma gun is too good. I, why am I wasting it on that? that I have not died this whole time yet. Uh, blue. Huh? Oh. Uh, you gotta love those not actually a door things. It's probably something that activates on a trigger. That's usually what the case is. Where's, where's the blue man group? I'm here to join the blue man group, please? Yeah, there's the blue man boys. Have you ever seen the Blue Man group in person? What's it? What do they do? I know, like, I know it's a performance art thing. They like juggle. I don't know what they do. I just remember seeing them in like commercials. I want there to be like a future, like a sci-fi thing where like ah. Oh, it's lagging a little bit. That's cute. So what did that do? Oh, it's a bridge. Duh. Um, I want there to be like a fantasy world where like the Blue Man Group is revered as like like aliens find recordings of the Blue Man Group and they assume they were like our gods or something. <laughs> like mm, yes, we will learn human culture from this this incredible group of men that were blue. That was their attack. Oh, opposite, opposite of where it was to go. Of course. Of course, that's where Tap Tap goes the first time. Oh man, so Doom. I I did only ever beat it. I did beat it myself later. Um, fairly recently, I went back and replayed Doom on uh, good old uh, Chocolate Doom. If you want to play Doom as close to possible as the old way, play. Look up Chocolate Doom. It's it's like vanilla, but it's a little tastier. It's um, it helps you run Doom as vanilla as possible on a modern system. It's, um, and just very slightest quality of life improvements. Really, almost nothing. Actually, really just letting it run is, I think, the only quality of life, really. It doesn't, um, the graphics are the same. It's, uh, it's really perfect. Though, some new Doom mods are made with modern Doom engines in mind. Uh, GZ Doom and stuff. So, not all of those will work in Chocolate Doom. But... Older ones may only work in Chocolate Doom, so if you want to do classic Doom mods, ow. Chocolate Doom is really where it's at. I really recommend playing Doom at least once, 
at least an episode, right? Play it in the original way. I, I recommend I recommend that for emulated stuff too. Like, at least look at what it originally actually did look like. Especially for SNES games. I hate when people only play on like filters with like Sal, Super Eagle, and crap. That's really not what it looked like. Especially with like with 3D games, I can accept it. But with 2D games and like you're just dicking with the uh, graphics, it doesn't look good. It just doesn't. But I do think you, everyone should experience some of the hardware quirks. That's one thing I do kind of miss. You could instantly tell what platform a game was on just by interesting graphics quirks. Like SNES, um, some of the sound had this weird. Um, oh. What's that called? That like bathroom echoing sound effect, reverberation? It had that. The the Doom soundtrack was so bad at that, the reverb. And um, the Genesis had, oh. The Genesis had its own things as well. I see something in there. This is dangerous. Oh, it's got the trail. Did I just hit a Doom with a rocket and it didn't die? What did you do to this rocket launcher? Oh, the rocket launcher lags the game. That's perfect. I have no yen anymore. Alright. That's not the chain gun. I... <laughs> the buttons you gotta press are just slightly weird. Ow. That hurts. This doesn't seem to have the vertical aiming thing. Am I... Am I brave? Am I brave? I'm brave and stupid. That's not how you get that. Okay. This is not the gun I wanted. I wanted... Is my plasma gun? Oh yeah, my plasma gun's fully loaded. Is this gonna raise platforms? No? Okay, red key card. What do I do with a red key card? I've already been in here. Where was the red boy? Yeah, give me Is there a no, of course there's not a map. Is there a map? Let me look, is there a map? Use cancel fire select straight fry blah blah blah. I love the use of the Doom font by for the instructions by the way, but no, there's no map. That is one the the, the Doom map did really come in handy. Gosh, here's the door. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend. We're both gonna pretend I didn't get really lost there. Alright. Is, is that cool with you? Alright. Good. Oh jeez. <laughs> This is a little baby. Oh, that Kako Demon looks really good, though. I really like how well they did the Kako Demon. And everything's recognizable, even at a distance. There's one good thing about the the Doom colors. Like, you can tell just pretty much by the colors what you're looking at. They, uh, they did a really good job of designing everything, so it was all recognizable. It's one of the... Yeah, I knew it. It's always gonna be. It's always a trap and stuff like that. Um... It's why one of the big complaints about Doom 2016 when it was released, it was just like, well not released, but when it was first shown, it was like, where, where did the colors go though? I'm sure there's a secret to open those and I'm sure I don't need to do that. Okay, so the yellow door, I vaguely remember where to get back to. 15 hours later. Yeah, that's yeah. Who's smart? Who's the smart boy now? Yeah, it's me. Smart boy time. Get out of here. So place your bets. Do you think the spider demon is actually here? Yeah. Or was that the end? Halls of eternal pain. That's just my bone snapping into place. Don't mind that. One. Oh, how do I keep missing exactly one? I think that was. The, I think I just skipped right past him. Oh well, that doesn't matter. on. Do I have to like press things? Sanctum of Torment. I think this is the last level. This is the last level. Okay. I'll see how long this video is. I, this, this, you don't care about these things. I'll split the video if I want to. Nobody can choose except for me. Sanctum of Torment. Oh, what do you think it's gonna be? What's it gonna be? I bet it is the Spider Mastermind. All right. The, the rockets seem really underpowered. Or do you think it's- Oh, you think it's the Bruiser Brothers, maybe? This looks- Oh, it's a fucking Cyber Demon! 
I guess the cyber, I guess the um, cyber demon is more iconic. It's like, what the hell? He's got a hit scan. Since when are you allowed to have a hit scan? Oh, by the way, using, oh, 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 ho, 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 ho. He has rockets too. I was dicking with the controls. Okay, I'm not a fan of the control to change weapons or the escape to change weapons thing, um, but whatever. But yeah, I was literally stuck in a menu and just obliterated. Like, just scroll wheel. Even if it just only scrolls in one way would have been nice. Or just if Q changed weapons or something. <laughs> well, I guess I'm glad I didn't put on high difficulty, huh? Oh, it's nice that it keeps your health from before. Wow, Re Real Doom didn't do that for you. Let's use the burn out the plasma gun first. So in real Doom, um, Cyber Demon is actually immune to blast da splash damage from the rocket launcher. So the rocket launcher is actually the worst gun to use against him. A lot of people, oh, a lot of people like to use it because it feels like you know dueling rockets and stuff. But it's actually the worst way to fight him, more or less. Because like half the damage of the rocket is the splash. So yeah, plasma gun, best bet. As it usually is. If you got plasma gun ammo, you usually want to use it. Alright. Just gotta... So once I take 25 damage, I'm just gonna get a health pack. And I think they come... I think all of the elevators activate at once. So... I think that's how it works. Yeah. And then they'll come back down. So this, you're supposed to pace yourself with those, is what that is. I swear those cracks get bigger as the fight goes on. Uh, rocket. No, 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 this. This is better, actually, yeah. Ah, uh, god. Yeah, I think the cracks open up on the floor and stuff. Uh, okay. Whew. Can you hurt those? I haven't seen any infighting in this, but there's just not so many enemies on screen. I think the arena like opens up to get more hellish. As you deal damage to it. Oh, I'm so frustrated by that. Alright. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> nice. We did it! We beat back the bastions of hell. Um see the knowledge the wisdom of the universe is in these pixels we just our mere mortal minds just don't have the capacity to, to comprehend them and it's a real it's a real shame but what's nice though is that if you could understand you would go mad so so you should probably be be glad i do see the triforce at the end there I'm gonna give it a second to load, but I I don't know if it crashed or if this is like a super secret ending. Um, <laughs> but that was Pico 8 Doom, Poom, which sounds like a vulgar word actually. And that was that was really cool. Um Oh Um I'm gonna beat Sanctum of Torment on Babu mode real quick, just to see if if maybe that was a fluke and it doesn't always do that, or if there is a real ending. If there's not a real ending, well, thanks for watching. Um, you can, remember, you can always help the channel out by like, commenting, and subscribing. See you later, and recommend uh, Pico 8 games if you want in the uh, in the comments.